What's up, everybody? I'm Roger, or the 4K King, and today we're going to be discussing A24. You either love them, you either hate them, but they're here to stay. And let's dive into the movies that I own, as well as my thoughts on the company, and basically A24 in a nutshell. I got one very rare comment of somebody asking for me to actually make a certain video for them. And uh, it doesn't happen much, so if you want to do that, make sure and type it down below. But since they requested this video, I've decided to do it. And hmm, there's your name. Thank you for the comment. Uh, but I have my A24 movie collection in front of me, and we're going to be going over every title. A24 is very decisive for me because I love a lot of their movies. I love a lot of their directors. I love a lot of what they promote and the message they kind of give as a company. Like anybody can do this if they're in the right mind state almost, I guess. Or you don't have to be Steven Spielberg to get your movie out there. Sometimes the movies aren't great. And I don't think they're bad movies. I just don't think they're for me. Okay, so why don't we start off with the movies in my collection I haven't seen because I'm a lazy bum. First off, we have The Souvenir 1 and 2. I haven't seen these. These are A24 collection uh, from their website. Sorry, I haven't seen it. Then we have Red Rocket. I started this one, didn't finish it. Finally, for the movies I haven't seen A24 wise in my collection is The Humans. I bought this at Target for like 10 bucks. And then I realized Amy Schumer was in it, and I said I'm not going to watch it. I love you, Steven, uh, but Amy Schumer is not my cup of tea. It's not going to go well. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, we're repping the A24 hat. It took me 30 minutes to find this thing, but it was worth it because I'm wearing it in the video now. Okay, so, now let's get into the movies I've seen. I'm going to let you know if I liked them, loved them, hated them. Or if they pulled an A24 and I did not even know what I was watching. First off, I have the poster for this movie in my living room. The Whale. Brendan Fraser gives a performance. It is fantastic. I absolutely love this movie. I need the 4K that you can get overseas. Uh, but import fees are kind of expensive and I got the Blu-ray for now. Next up is a movie so good I own two copies of it uncut gems i love the trashy adam sandler movies pixels masterpiece but you know what adam sandler this might be your best movie i cannot lie to you and you know what not a24 related but punch drunk love another fantastic movie adam sandler's been in yeah i have the blu-ray release and then i have the 4k blu-ray from criterion both of these are really nice, this one specifically, and I absolutely love this movie. It's really tension-driven. I'm watching this movie, I'm always on the edge of my seat, even though I've seen it four or five times. This one does not get thrown because it's that good. Okay, next up is a movie I didn't love as much, but I still own two copies of, and that is The Green Knight. Look at this nice little 4K edition. When I say little, I mean gargantuan. Uh, this thing is huge. I love the cover on both of these. This one looks great. This is the 4K Lionsgate originally did. Yoink. And this is the A24 Shop exclusive. Oh my god. Yeah, this thing is nice. Take a gander at this cover here. Disc in there. It's a 4K, of course, because... We're a 4K type of a family in this household. And uh, we have the booklet, which is pretty dope. I'll never read it. Okay, I didn't hate this movie. Uh, I think it's really dope. The fox was dope. The scenic scenery, I guess, scenic, whatever. Uh, it's a visually stunning film. Uh, but it's kind of wacky. It's kind of crazy. And it's kind of slow. That doesn't mean it's a bad movie, but... It pulled an A24. When I say it pulled an A24, that just means I'm super divisive on the film. I usually will end up loving the cinematography, the style of the film, the themes, the plot. But when I actually watch it, I don't end up loving it 100%. 
that's the Green Knight. Here's one of my favorite A24 movies. I am preaching for best picture, and that is Past Lives. I posted on my Instagram. I let y'all know, if this doesn't win, we will riot. If this doesn't win, if this doesn't, if this doesn't win, the Oscars can expect the 4K King with fists up. They don't want no smoke from the 4K King, so it better win. And even though this is obviously going to win, I got a bad feeling about this. This guy has a little too much potential right now. I'm a little worried. I love you, Christopher Nolan. I love you, Oppenheimer, but past lives needs this win. This one does not get thrown either. Here's another movie that pulled an A24. We have Pearl. Okay, I did not like this movie. At least, not as much as I wanted to. It, okay, slander me in the comments, but Mia Goth is annoying. I'm sorry if people like her. I'm not sure why people like her. I find her to be super annoying. I just cannot pay attention to anything when she's talking. It. I assume that's how it is when you guys watch my videos. So, maybe this is relatable to you right now. But I just could not get into Pearl. I don't own X, but I really love the movie X. I thought X was such a good movie. I am excited for Maxine, even though I'm not too crazy about her. Uh, but yeah, Pearl pulled an A24. Next up, we have a movie that went to Apple TV. And it's, it's kind of random. Nobody talks about it. But that's On the Rock starring Bill Murray. I like this movie. It's not great. It pulled an A24. Here is one that needs to be talked about more. Life After Beth. Starring John C. Riley and... Uh, what's your face? Aubrey Plaza. That's right. Aubrey Plaza is freaking dope in this movie. And I mean, dude. She's a zombie. Anyways, this movie is really, really fun. It's like a dark comedy. Check it out. I'm sure it's on Tubi or something last time I checked. Uh, or grab the Blu-ray because it's pretty decent. This one I forgot to show off a quick second ago when I was talking about things I hadn't seen yet. The Lighthouse. I know. I haven't seen it. Maybe I'll watch it tonight and therefore I've seen it by the time I put out the video. I don't know. Ryan Reynolds' A24 movie was not on my bucket list, uh, but we actually have two of them. One I like more than the other. If you want to know which one I like more than the other, go check out my letterbox, and you will get a pretty good review on both of them and which one I like more. Now, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm going to make you go to the description, click on that link, follow me on Letterbox, and then read the reviews for both of these movies. This is The Captive and Mississippi Grind. Ooh, next up we have Minari, a great, great movie. I absolutely love this movie. It apparently won six Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture and Best Actor, which is really, really dope. Uh, but Steven Yeung, man. He is fantastic in everything he's in. I haven't seen The Walking Dead, but if I ever do, it'll be because of him. Here's a movie that I did not like, and I can't even give props to because I just did not like it. Um, I don't really know what to say about this movie. It's... I'm going to show it to you, you're going to look at the title, you're going to look at the cover, and then we're going to move on. Have fun with that. Okay, here's a movie that is going to get, this is going to get me killed. I'm not even joking. If I end up mugged and then dead on the road, it'll be because of this opinion right here. Everything Everywhere All at Once is a good movie, but it's not a great movie, I know have a different opinion than the whole internet it's crazy but i loved this movie i just did not think it was all that maybe it's because i'm kind of over the whole multiverse stuff at least i was around this time and i'm still not too into it uh but i don't find the multiverse very exciting anymore and that's not to say this was a bad movie again i really really liked it I just did not understand why everybody was kind of going crazy over it. It's a great movie. 
not a good movie, a great movie. It's just not as great as people are glazing it to be, in my opinion. Another movie I haven't seen and I forgot to do it and I probably could have edited it to make it look like I didn't forget, but you know what? I'm too lazy for that. So, Ex Machina. <sighs> haven't seen it yet. I started it, didn't finish it. Star Wars guys in it, right? Yeah. Finally, why don't we end this video with me getting a couple dislikes. I did not like the movie After Yang. After Yang was pretty boring in my opinion. And I like Colin Firth. Firth no, not Firth. What am I talking about? Colin Farrell, right? Colin Farrell. I like Colin Farrell, but to be honest, he couldn't save this for me. Uh, his acting was great, and so was, um, what is her name? Jodie Turner-Smith. She was really good in the movie, but I just did not care for the story. It's not for me. Um, if you enjoyed this movie, props to you, but I personally didn't get much out of it. Okay, so A24. I really love the company, I think... They are doing some great things out here in the studio landscape, I guess. I don't know. Um, they're putting out movies that are unique, they're different, and they're not always going to be for you. Uh, but that's why I watch the ones that I even don't have interest in. Like, I had no interest in Talk To Me, but after watching it, I loved it. I need that movie. The Florida Project is one of the best movies ever made. Uh, Bo is Afraid. My second favorite movie behind Past Lives. I don't own it yet. I'm going to get it. I promise. A24 has made some amazing movies. And I just realized I actually own Midsummer. Hold up. Ooh, I forgot about this. We have Midsummer. This movie, I pulled it off the shelf just to call it crazy. I don't even know what the fuck I watched. Uh, the bear scene was pretty freaking... Yeah, as I was saying, A24 is not always my cup of tea, but I will always give them a chance. I absolutely love the company. I think they are great. And uh, yeah, if you haven't really di driven into the A24 pothole, now is your time. Alrighty, guys, there we go. That is my A24 movie collection and my thoughts of a24 in a nutshell if you enjoyed this video thank the guy who commented because you guys would have not gotten this video i'm lazy and if you didn't enjoy this video curse me out in the comments leave a dislike it just helps my engagement rate thank you for watching subscribe like i'm roger and we'll see you next time I swear to God, this next part was not scripted. I just, it, it kind of happened, but I thought it'd be fine to leave it in. So, yeah.